This is the Apple Mac Pro and it supports quad channel memory. So I've always wanted to test the speed difference between single channel, dual channel and quad channel. And with this Mac Pro, I'm going to be able to do that. So at the moment we have got three of the sticks removed. We're using Performance Test 11 from Passmark and we're running the Memory Mark to test the performance of the memory in single channel, dual channel and quad channel on this Mac Pro. To speed up the uh, process, I won't be recording every single test, um, and but we'll show the results on screen, showing the performance difference between the single channel, dual channel and quad channel. There we have the results. Just for simplicity, these are the single channel results and this multi-threaded score is 13,463 megabytes per second. So that's 13.4 gigabytes per second. Then in dual channel, we've got 27,121 megabytes per second or 27 gigabytes per second. And then in quad channel, we're seeing the fastest speed here, which is 50,000 megabytes per second or 50.8 gigabytes per second. So you can see there's a significant increase in threaded throughput on the quad channel memory compared to the dual channel and then the single channel, which is the lowest here. And this is how you open the Mac Pro with this to unlock it. Just lifts up and then the memory is on either side of this bit and you click these things and then you can put the memory in. So this is in single channel. There's one stick of memory here. So let's put in the second stick of memory lining up the notch on this side. On this side it's that way around. On this side it's the other way around. And I'm not a huge fan of this. Kind of get this. So these sort of just slide in and they kind of feel a little bit loose when you start sliding them in and then they get tighter as you go further in and they line up uh, better. Um, and then like usual, you kind of need to make sure it seats firmly. And then if you're just having two sticks of memory, you would click those in like that. Um, but we're going to put all four in, so we need to Put the other ones in and we're just going to do the same, slide them in. And there's little numbers at the bottom from one to four. And then we can put the lid back on. And there we go. That's um, the difference between single channel, dual channel and quad channel memory. And if your system supports quad channel memory, you're going to see a big performance increase for some situations when using quad channel over dual channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Pressing the option key brings up the boot menu for this Mac. So you get to choose between Windows and Boot Camp and uh, the Mac OS, if that's the way you've got your system set up. Or you can also uh, boot from USB. Kind of the neat thing about um, this is you can actually pull the USB out, disappears. You can put in um, a different USB.
and then it appears. That's quite nice. I've not seen Windows systems do that, but yeah, just going to run a quick mem test and check the memory is all happy. 